say hi. You say hi, hi. Tink. Corey. You want to get your hair washed? Yay! Let's go get our hair washed. So y'all know what we're going to do by the title of this video. We're going to be giving Corey a bath today. This is her bath time routine and also her hair routine. Um, she doesn't have that much hair right now, so I'm not going to need any twisties or anything like that. All I'm using is this Dove Baby Wash. I'm going to use it to shampoo her hair and also to wash her body. And then I'm going to put in this leave-in conditioner, which is um, from Sally's. And some rosehip oil. And for her body, I'm going to put this body butter, which is by J.R. Watkins. I'm going to put some of this cocoa butter on her skin. And then all I'm going to use to moisturize her hair and make sure it's, it's detangled is this dimming brush and maybe this little comb. All right, y'all. So at this stage in her life, it's easier for me to put her in the sink to wash her up because she still fits and it just takes a lot less time. And I hate kneeling down in front of the tub to wash her up. So I clean out the tub, the sink with a little bit of um, disinfectant spray and dishwashing liquid. And then I go ahead and run her bath and use her body wash as bubble bath. All right, y'all, let's start with her hair. I'm using her bath water to wet her hair initially since it's already soapy. And um, it's just, I don't know why I do it that way. I just do it that way. I use her bath water to uh, get her hair wet. And then I go in with the, her shampoo or her soap to lather her hair. And I wanted to show you guys the lather process and also the beginning part of the detangling process in real time. So you can see how long it actually takes me to do her hair and what I'm actually doing as far as um, detangling her hair and how gentle I'm being when I'm detangling her hair. It doesn't take me a long time to do this and also it does not hurt her when I am detangling her hair. I'm being really careful not to snag at any tangles that might be in her hair. So you see that I'm, I might start at the root in some parts but then if I feel a tangle I go to the end and try to work it out at the end while holding her hair between two of my fingers to make sure that I'm not pulling it or hurting her. So she doesn't mind me detangling her hair. Yeah, this is not like the most soapy soap in the world and that's a good thing because it won't dry out your baby's skin and also their hair so you don't see it sudden up a whole whole lot but she is getting clean and it's not taking the moisture out of her skin or her hair so it's a good thing Okay guys, so I'm going to use fresh water to rinse her hair because now that she's taking a bath in her bath water, it has dirt in it. So I'm not going to use that water to rinse her clean hair because I don't want to put dirt back in her hair that I just shampooed. So that's why I'm going to use fresh water in a cup to rinse her hair. And I'm trying not to get it in her face too much, but whatever does get in her face, I just use her washcloth to get it out. What you got bubbles? No. You do. <laughs> you got some. You got some water up your nose. You got water up your nose. Break it out. Yeah. Okay, let's go.
So bath time is finally over. Now I'm just going to moisturize her skin with the body butter and the cocoa butter lotion. I put that everywhere, um, all over her body, her feet, her back, her chest, everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to put her clothes on and I also definitely do put shoes on her in the house. She will not keep any shoes on her feet except the stride right shoes and I just love them. They help her walk and again they're the only shoes that she actually likes to wear and she has several pair of shoes but she will take all the rest of them off but she actually asks to wear these stride right shoes so I don't know what they do to their shoes but yeah she loves them and the reason why I put her shoes on in the house is because even though it's 74 degrees inside it's only 18 degrees outside so the floors tend to be cold and um, she needs something on her feet she doesn't really like to wear socks and even when she does wear them she slips on the floor with them on so I prefer to put her shoes on and so does she so I just put them on and it all works out now I'm just gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner and I'm just putting that all over her hair and kind of breaking it in to define her curls and once I'm done with that I'm going to put the rose tip oil I did about three or four pumps and um, put that in her hair and just kept on raking both products through her hair, defining her curls and making sure her hair felt very moisturized. I did go ahead in with a comb or with the small comb that I showed you in the beginning and I kind of um, defined her edges a little bit. I mean, I didn't really like lay her edges, but I kind of just laid, you know, just made them look a little bit more polished. If you want to at this point, you can put like a little headband or something on, but that's all I do to her hair. And her hair is moisturized with this method, and um, that's it. I tried really hard to get some good footage of her hair and like her curls after I was done but she was not cooperating so you know, I got what I could get and um, I took some pictures so I can show you guys up close. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it useful and you'll be able to try this method on your toddler. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.